Hi everyone. In this video, we'll see how to use Visual Studio Code for writing your programs in Python. As we all know, Visual Studio Code or VS Code is a quite popular IDE. If you don't know about it, then you'll get introduced into it uh, in this video. But if you do know about it, then all well and good. In this video, this is a very short video. And what we're going to do is we're going to see how we can use Python with VS Code. So let's get started. Now, for using VS Code uh, with Python, the first thing is you need to install a supported version of Python. When I say supported version, it means any version after 3.7, 3.8 should be good now. Uh, so just first install the Python version uh, from python.org, then install Visual Studio Code. Uh, the website link is given over here, code.visualstudio.com. After that, it's pretty much just two-stage process. First, we need to install the Python extension in the Visual Studio Code. And second is we need to configure the Python interpreter that we already have installed on our computer. <coughs> now, to make things simpler, I'll just go step by step and show you all. So the very first thing to do is you go to a browser and you simply go to python.org. From here, go to downloads and install a Python version. Any one should be good. Uh, just as a, a rule of thumb, we don't use a pre-release version. So you use any stable version of Python, which are listed over here. Once you install Python, what happens is, and there is another video uh, for correct installation as well. You can check that out on channel. What happens is you get a default Python IDE called idle like this. Uh, so you can see my version is 3.1.2. This is the one that I'm using. Next step is go to code.visualstudio.com. Now I'm using Windows, so you can download it for Windows or if you're on Mac, you can download it for Mac. Now, once you click on download for Windows, what happens is uh, a download file is generated or downloaded. Now all you need to do is simply double click this and the Visual Studio code is installed the process is pretty straightforward. I'm not going to uh, show you the steps of installing. It's nothing. You just have to open the installer and click next, next, next. The installer is installed or the Visual Studio code is there installed. After that is done, all you need to do is simply open the Visual Studio code in your computer. Now, what you need to do is when you install the VS code for the first time, you need to look at this tab over here extensions so this is important just go to extensions tab and here simply search for python you'll get number of different results we don't want all of them we just want one and that is the first one which is given by microsoft so click on this version and simply click on install button over here it is installing just takes a little bit time depending upon the size so if you see this one installer it was somewhere around 140 mb or something like that i'll create another video for you uh, for getting a complete introduction to vs code and how do you use it but for now uh, with these steps you can quickly get started for it with python now you can see python is now installed completely now all you need to do next is go here or simply this is the terminal window or simply do control shift p and then type python select interpreter this one first option now when you click that the one which is installed on your system should be shown here as you see i have python 3.1.264 bit installed so this will be shown over here simply select that interpreter that's it Installing the extension and then selecting the interpreter from over here. Now you're good to go. So I'll go to file and take a new file. It is also showing me an option now. You can have a Jupyter notebook created or a Python file created. So let me select a Python file and let me save it first. So let me call it my trial pi code. You can write any Python program. Uh, this is just a trial. So I'll just do print hello then I'll just have probably accept an input
and then print that number out just just an experiment once you have write, written your code all you need to do is go to run and click on start debugging at this stage it may ask you to select a debugger for now we need a python debugger you just need to do it once when you start experimenting and then the file which file you want to use the active file so select the python file that's all there is a terminal window will be opened over here and it will show you your output hello enter a number let me enter 5 you entered 5 now if you do make an error for example let me make an error and enter a number what I can do or what I'll do is I'll just remove the closing parenthesis and then I'll start debugging the error message is also shown over here in this terminal window so this is how you can use VS code for writing programs for Python I hope you'll experiment with this and there shouldn't be any issues but if you do face any issues feel free to let me know thanks for watching